What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video is super long and packed full of cleaning motivation. I spent the whole entire day deep cleaning our house and getting everything reset before the weekend. I absolutely love cleaning days like these because I can turn on some Michael Buble or Frank Sinatra and just go crazy and make everything look amazing and light all of the candles in the house. But I hope y'all came here needing some motivation today. Go ahead and grab your coffee and let's clean together. I'm just gonna start out in our master bedroom and this was actually a few days prior to cleaning the entire house, but I wanted to share our new mattress with y'all. We hated our old mattress because it was super uncomfortable and Oliver also graced it with his spit up one too many times and it was starting to stink. So we were in desperate need of a new one, but I will go into more detail about that here in a few minutes. But Will's just helping me get our new mattress all set up. If you are tackling a space in your home today, comment down below what you're working on. I would absolutely love to know. sponsoring today's video. As y'all know, a couple of years back, Will and I actually bought a brand new mattress when we bought this bed, and it was memory foam and super firm, and we thought that's what we wanted, but both of us ended up hating it. I would wake up every single morning with a backache, and Will never even really slept in bed. He would always, like halfway through the night, go to the couch. And so we knew that we had to make a change and we ended up ordering the Birch Lux mattress and we love this thing and it is fully supportive so I never wake up with a backache and Will has not slept on the couch since we got it. We love this thing. It is so cushy on top. It has a pillow top that's really fluffy and it feels like you're sleeping on a cloud but then underneath it has lots of support which is exactly what I needed. I want the comfort of the cushiness but I also need lots of back support and I don't know when it was that I started waking up with a backache. That makes me sound really old but I know that after having Oliver it's gotten even worse so this mattress has kind of changed the game for us. Will doesn't have to sleep in the living room anymore. I don't wake up in pain. It's a win-win. Birch is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish and comfortable and environmentally conscious. They're made right here in America with natural and organic materials and they are created specifically with coolness and breathability and support. So definitely go check out the Birch mattresses today if you're in the market for one. They have a 100 night sleep trial plus a 25 year warranty. So if you don't like your mattress after three months, they will come pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. And the best part of all is Birch actually has free shipping within the US. So you can have one of these mattresses delivered right to your front door in a box for free within the US. So incredible, such a good deal. We love our Birch mattress and I know that y'all are gonna love it too. So if you're looking for a new bed, make sure to click the link below or go to birchliving.com slash Lauren Y for $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. And thank you so much to Birch for sponsoring today's video. I'm thinking about us, girl, and I hate that we fight. Regretting what's been said and done. I guess I really need to tell you how I'm feeling inside. Even if I try can get you out of my mind. Suddenly it's obvious that you're the one. Listen what I say, are you ready or not? Time to step it up, give it all you got. I'll be on my way, waiting outside your door. You are all I want and more. And girl, I know we're better than the rest together. I am, I wanna 
Throughout today's video, I'm going to be taking down most all of our Easter decor and decluttering for summer. I'm so excited for warmer weather and to get in our backyard and make a fun little oasis for all of us to enjoy this summer. And I'm keeping out lots of spring items for now just to hold us over until next week, but I'm going to be putting away all of the bunnies and Easter stuff. I think my Easter decor this year was probably my favorite decor ever. We enjoyed it so much and I'm so sad to put it away, but I'm also so excited for summer. So for our bedroom, I'm just going through and wiping down all of the mirrors with some spray way. And I'm also taking my Swiffer and I'm going to dust the nightstands and the dresser and the fireplace and just get everything reset and ready for summer decor next week. Y'all stop back by next week. I'm not sure. I'm going to have a bunch of videos go up within the next seven days. So I'm not sure um, when that summer decor video will be out, but it's going to be very soon. And I'm thinking about incorporating lots of patriotic decor. So make sure to stop back by next week. Let's go. Honestly, I came with my girls, wanna dance by ourselves, can't you tell? Baby, baby, I have thick skin, yeah, I don't let things get to me. But do you want me to spell it out for you right now? I'm not feeling your vibe. Crystal clear that your head over heels, but don't come any closer, my dear. Cause when I get mad, I cannot control what might happen. You think you can? Put your hands on my body I'm no damsel in distress no. Come too close, I might just lose it I'll knock you down like boom, 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 boom I'll knock you down like boom, 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 boom
about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all Well, why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the air, always something in the air It's a All right, now that our bedroom is done, I'm gonna head into the master bathroom. I just need to put some things away and wipe down the counter. I'm gonna clean our toilet and wipe out our tub and our shower. I told y'all recently that I'm gonna try to keep up with our shower a little better because I always put it off for so long and then it's so bad. So I'm just gonna take that new little scrubber that I showed y'all in last week's video that I got off Amazon and I'm gonna take that to the sinks, the tub, and also the shower and that makes cleaning so easy. Stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by, but I think about you, about you all the time. Looks like you're changing and all. But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Ever since having Oliver, I lose so much hair, and so our sinks are always full of hair and makeup particles. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that scrubber to these sinks and get rid of all of that. And wait till you see the after, it looks so much better. And then we'll move on to the toilet and the tub and the shower. Let me know down in the comments below what y'all are looking forward to most this summer. I am so excited to take baby Oliver to the beach for the first time. And I know everyone says it's not even enjoyable with babies, but I feel like it's my job to make sure that he has pictures at the beach as a baby. So I am making it a priority this summer. Leave below any tips that you have for taking a seven month old baby to the beach. And let me know what y'all are doing this summer.
y'all should stop right now and go look at your bathroom cabinets and just see how gross they are because so many things run down them that you don't realize. I guess face wash and just things that you, products that you use run down the front and I don't ever even look at them but when I go to clean them I'm like ew how did I even miss that but I went ahead and wiped all of those down with my multi-surface spray or I think it was my bathroom cleaner from Blue Land and now I'm just going to clean up our toilet with my Clorox wand and then I'm just going to take some Clorox wipes and wipe down the rest of the toilet bowl um, just to make sure it's nice and disinfected. Now moving on to the jetted tub, I'm just going to take that scrubber I was telling you about that I got from Amazon and wipe down all of this residue on the tub. Will and I went on a date to Local Lime the other night, which is like this cute little Mexican restaurant, and um, next to it is a Lush, and so I was like, wait, we have to stop in Lush so I can get a bath bomb, and I got a Barbie pink sparkly bath bomb, and that was the worst idea because those sparkles were all over our tub, and our tub was kind of stained pink, so I'm just taking that little scrubber as well as some bathroom cleaner and wiping that all down. And once again, I've been losing tons of hair since having Oliver, so our shower is covered in like long strands of hair and some dust. So I'm just taking my Blue Land bathroom cleaner and wiping down all of the parts that are dusty and full of hair. And then for the bottom of the tub, I'm just going to spray some foaming bleach and take my little scrubber and wipe that all down.
the shower door, I'm just real quick taking my spray away and wiping that all down. And I'm going to wipe the bottom down really good because that likes to collect mold for some reason. So I'm going to wipe down that little silver rail on the bottom really good. But I'm just using my spray away for a quick clean. I'm just taking my Dyson to vacuum up this bathroom real quick and I'm laughing at the fact that I opened that closet door and the laundry basket was overflowing. That is just what I was talking about last week in my daily cleaning routine is you can't have everything. You have to either have the laundry done, your house is clean, your baby's clean, your hair is clean. You can't have it all. You have to choose one. So today was not laundry day. Today was I was cleaning the whole house. And I'm trying this Tide again. I showed y'all that I cleaned the living room floors with Tide before and I added way too much and they got kind of smeary. But I found that adding just like a tablespoon to a whole bucket of water does the trick and makes your floors smell so good and they are squeaky clean and so shiny. All right, now that our bathroom is clean, I'm heading into the living room and I'm gonna go ahead and take down all of the Easter decor. I'm taking down our little bunny banner on our TV stand and I'm just gonna straighten it up in here. This room gets the messiest, I feel like, because we live in here. All of our plays in here all day long and when we sit on the couches, they get destroyed. So I'm just gonna go through and pick up all of his toys, his stroller, his diaper bag, and I'm gonna fluff the couches. And right here, I'm just taking that in dust, um, what is it called, like electronics uh, wipes to wipe down our TV. I usually just take the sprayway and wipe it down, but I have a subscriber that comes back every single time that I use the sprayway on the TV, and she says, don't do that. So here, here you are. I bought some wipes for the, specifically for the TV so that they, uh, the TV doesn't get ruined, even though I've used sprayway for years on the TV and nothing's ever happened. And then here I'm just taking my Swiffer and dusting everything down.
this front entryway stays cluttered 24-7 and I constantly tell Will we have to figure out a way to keep this entryway clear so that if somebody knocks on our door we can open it and it doesn't look like we are hoarders but we get packages and set them here or we are going to send packages and set them here that's one of those packages I need to send that to my friend and I keep forgetting um, but I need to take that up and send it and then that little Stanley um, shop back I bought that the other day and then I had other packages sitting there and then I set Oliver's diaper bag here so this area just stays really cluttered if you have any ideas for me we have just such a small space here and not enough storage but um, I've got to stop storing stuff here in the entryway and I need to go straight to the garage or somewhere where it can be out of sight. <laughs> We are still loving this piano. If you missed it in a video recently, I chalk painted this and distressed it. And I want to do a little bit more distressing because it doesn't really show on camera for some reason. But we love the way that this looks in our living room. I just have to find a way to tie in that entryway bench because it's more of a cream and this piano is stark white. So we'll figure out that pretty soon. But I'm just taking all of the Easter decor off the piano and making it more for spring. And then next week we are going to completely transform this whole house into summer mode. As y'all know, I put up curtains in the kitchen a few weeks back, and I'm going to do the exact same curtains in here in the living room. I just have to go buy them, and I haven't done that yet. So that'll be coming probably next week or in a video really soon. And then all of the windows at our house will finally have curtains, thank God. That's like something I really dread doing is putting up the curtains, even though it's really not that bad. It just takes a minute, and it takes a lot of focus and a lot of measuring and like putting holes in the wall so it's not something I really enjoy and I'm so glad to finally have all of our windows done. And this is your reminder to go look under your couches because we have been searching high low for that teether for Oliver. That's his favorite and we have not been able to find it anywhere. We thought we left it at Nana's house but this whole time it's been underneath the couch. So go check underneath your couches right now and also underneath your couch cushions because that is where a ton of stuff hides and you leave it there so long that you forget you even had it. I guess it never hit you our conversation takes to paying it some interest from time to time inside all that greatness in all of your adventures you're all alone hold up hold up baby I can't sit beside you while you're going on 
have to say the thing that collects the most dust in our house is this Mamaru. I do not know what it is, but it collects so much dust and I have to dust it weekly. Um, and it's covered every single week. But I'm going to go ahead and finish vacuuming up the living room and then I'm going to make some fresh tide water and mop these floors. While I had my O Cedar Spin Mop out, I went ahead and brushed over the baseboards too and knocked all of the dust off. And this is the cleanest that our living room had been in a long time and it felt so good to head into the weekend with a clean house. Last but not least, we're gonna tackle this kitchen and I'm starting out in the nook area. I'm gonna take down all of our Easter decor. Um, I'm gonna take down all of the Easter stuff in the hutch and just get it back to a clean slate. It's gonna look a little bit empty when I'm done, but we're gonna fill that up next week when we decorate for summer. And also just wanted to wipe everything down give it a good vacuum and mop. Breathe it all out, then I breathe in. When there is no way back in, and we are the eye of the needle. I breathe it all out, then I breathe in. We are the eye of the needle.
purchased two of these gray storage bins for Easter stuff. And I actually didn't have a storage for Easter before. I just stored it in a little um, bench that had an opening in our garage. But there was not enough room for all of my Easter stuff because I got a lot more this year. So I went ahead and purchased those. And very soon I'm going to do a garage clean with me because it is so bad. We have a ton of decorations strode everywhere in our garage. And it's totally my fault. My husband doesn't even use the garage hardly. But my decorations are everywhere. So I'm going to get in there and label all of my totes and get them in shelves. So stay tuned for that. That's coming very soon. I went ahead and got all of my Easter decor put away in the kitchen and now I'm just going in with my Mrs. Myers basil scented multi-service spray and I'm going to wipe everything down. I'm also going to tackle a few little spots on the oven with some barkeeper's friend and after that we're going to go ahead and tackle these kitchen floors. They were so bad. So I'm going to go in with my Dyson and vacuum all the crumbs and then I'm going to go in with my Tide mop water and mop really good. My all-time favorite stovetop cleaner is the Barkeeper's Friend, and I've always purchased the powder one, and it gets absolutely everything off my stovetop, and I love it for that, but here recently I've noticed that it gets stuck in the crevices around my oven, and I cannot get it out, and y'all have seen me try to get it out with like a butter knife and little sharp tools, and I can't ever get it all out, and then here recently I saw that there is a liquid Barkeeper's Friend, and I don't know why no one's ever told me that, because... I would have gotten that a long time ago, so this week I'm going to go purchase some of that and get a little bit of a deeper clean on our stovetop. But for now, I went ahead and wiped that down with some spray away to shine it up, and now we're moving on to the sink area. So wrap your arms around me like a borderline. Our fortress in the jungle, baby, we are right. We don't care much for people like them. We don't care much for people like them. But darling, oh my, my, I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now. I'm like a golden crown, world and high up in the sky, oh. It's the way you make me feel so good, feel so good right now. It's the way you make me feel so good. I made a promise to myself that after Christmas was over, I was going to use up all of the candles in my house, except for the holiday ones um, before I bought new ones and so I've officially used up all of my candles now except for the ones that you see out today and those are even almost all burnt up so if you have any good candle recommendations leave them down in the comments below um, I'm looking for something that's really cute but also smells really good I'm pretty familiar with everything at Bath and Body Works but if you have something else like a Target candle that you really love or something else then let me know down below I am looking for some really good scented candles
There's no better feeling than a clean house before the weekend. It's so relaxing to know that everything is in place and you can just enjoy yourself. I don't know, maybe I'm just weird, but I love knowing that I can relax and focus on my family and fun things rather than having to dig around and find stuff. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and got tons of motivation to go and tackle your home. Don't forget to check the link below for a Birch Lux mattress, $400 off plus two free pillows. And I'm also gonna have several uploads in the next seven days, so make sure to stop back by. If you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you, but I will see y'all soon. Bye. But a thousand years seem like almost no time now. This guitar right here, do you still remember how? I played for you, I was crappy, but you sang along and I thought you knew I could die to keep you near. We've got a fire in the tent, it's my favorite.